Welcome back to the channel everyone and uh, today um, having a little trip away we're going up to Chiang Mai up in the north of Thailand um, and we come down to Tapu Airport in Rayong we're not going from Suanapum in Bangkok so we've come down south to Rayong and we'll be getting a flight from here so uh, stick with us see what Chiang Mai and the flight from this little airport. Let's have to spin the camera around. It's a very small airport. It used to be a military zone airport, but now it's uh, used for commercial flights. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Got into the hotel room now, checked in. Let's have a look around the uh, room. Um, quite nice. So, hang on, let's just turn this around. So you come in the door there, past the bathroom. We'll have a look in there. I've already just thrown your stuff on the bed. This is the uh, main room, bedroom. Quite nice, little fridge. What have we got in the fridge? Nothing there. Oh, but we've got complimentary water and coffee and bits and pieces there. Little desk, do some writing or whatever you want to do. Spacious room. Let's have a look at the uh, bathroom. This is the bathroom. Shower and bath. Quite nice. That's all you want. I've already hung the uh, suit up. So, a little safe, quite nice. There you go. So that's the uh, abode for the next three nights uh, while I'm here in Chiang Mai doing a bit of uh, Masonic business. Tomorrow or later on, we'll have a look around Chiang Mai. Well, just having a little walk around here in Chiang Mai and uh, come up to the old city wall. Um, Chiang Mai is like an enclosed City, you've got an old city inside a, a, a closed wall. Um, the Tai Pai Gate here is the uh, a little attraction, been standing for many centuries. So, uh, we're having a little walk around and see what we can see. Hang on, let me spin the camera around and we can have a look. It's an old enterprise in the uh, locals get here. They've, uh, they feed the pigeons and then they take photographs of people standing by the pigeons. Then they throw something on the floor, make the pigeons fly up to give them some effect. Seems there's three or four of them doing it. We'll see if we can see them up. See that guy, in there he feeds all the pigeons stay there. And they take the uh, people take their photographs, and the pigeons fly up, and they drop the uh, this guy a few bar for the effect. Let's see if we can uh, see it. Here we go. Look. Here we go. So that's one way of uh, using the pigeons here to uh, make a, a living quite novel and unique. So here we are in, inside the city wall. This is the inner, the old city. These uh, BART buses here, all these red BART buses, again, just jump on 30 BART and they'll take you anywhere you want. So uh, it's a Friday afternoon or Friday morning, just coming up to 12 noon. Have a walk around and see what else we can see. The old city gates with a Wooden, wooden wheel. And all around the uh, old city, there's the uh, um, these little waterways. 
uh, quite low at the moment even though they've had quite a bit of rain but uh, plenty of fish and activity in the water down there so uh, it's uh, quite nice let's have a wander up here the police are out getting the uh, tourists making sure they've got their licenses One of the things you need to look wherever you go in Thailand if uh, you hire a motorbike is make sure you carry your license and it's not only your um, your home country license that's not accepted here you need an international license or a Thai license so uh, you need to make sure you've got an international driving permit with you otherwise it's uh, a fine and if you've got like this guy over here, no helmet on, that's another fine. So uh, all payable on the curb. There you go, He's, uh, they've pulled two or three up at the moment. All for Angs. So uh, they're easy picking. They know they can get their, their uh, fines off of the flanks. The locals got no money, so uh, they don't pull them up. They let them go through. They're just checking for driving permits guy at the back there he's got no helmet on he'd probably get a double whammy there no no permit no no helmet so uh if you ride around with no helmet you deserve to get nicked yeah it looks like no helmets they're letting the ones go through with helmets on the ones with no helmets they're uh, they're stopping and what's interesting enough if a Thai person comes along with no helmet, they're letting them go straight through. But uh, if you're a Farang or a foreigner with no helmet, um, it'll be, uh, you're in for a point. Now Chiang Mai is um, famous for its coffee culture up here. There's uh, numerous coffee shops up here and they, they specialise in coffee um, all over the city. Um, it is renowned for, as I say, their coffee culture. They're brewing the coffee, roasting the coffee. Um, so if you're a coffee lover and you come to Chiang Mai, you're not going to be disappointed at, at one bit. The old city in bronze. One of the things that uh, you often see in, in Thailand is uh, people, when they go out for walks, holidays, they often dress in traditional Thai dresses. Um, like these ladies here, they're in Thai dresses, traditional Thai dresses, and they will parade themselves around in Thai dresses like this one here. Like, And again, especially in places where um, there's temples and that, they're always, uh, you'll see them all traditionally dressed. And if it, Chiang Mai is um, quite a nice little city, um, very traditional Thai. All these little shops, coffee shops, little bars, line the streets, every street. So it's a, it's a nice place just to walk around, do a bit of sightseeing, really. Little bars, little coffee shops. And of course, just outside the city is all the, the mountain range. Um, some lovely temples up there. There's loads of temples in, in Chiang Mai, if you come up to Chiang Mai. have a look in here we we'll just have a little wander very it's amazing you come off of the main road where all the traffic's hustle and bustle with the traffic and you walk into the gardens of these temples and it gets very very quiet let's have a look in here
As I say, you get off it, the main road and the temple is just quiet. It's nice just to get away from it all and just walk around the grounds of these temples. Very peaceful, very relaxing. Typical um, temple with all the pictures of uh, Buddha's life around the walls. And of course in ceremonies along this Stretch is where all the monks sit to give their blessings. And this is the Buddha of the temple. Very uh, highly decorated this one by the looks of it. Even on the ceiling, gold ornaments. And in that big frieze there is Buddha's, looks like his complete life. Which one of these friezes will dictate where, or give the meaning of the life of Buddha. Little old antique shop here. There's a few little antique shops along this road, uh, but uh, all selling various bits. I don't know how authentic these are out here, but uh, certainly uh, look old enough for me. And I'll tell you, it's quite nice. It's uh, a lot of the utility boxes in the streets are all graffitied, and uh, it looks like. They've definitely um, been commissioned. And it looks like wherever you go in uh, Chiang Mai, there's all gra graffiti everywhere. That is artistic graffiti. This is an old temple. It's all been carved out of wood, this one. Looks like it's very, very old. As you can see, this um, temple is uh, being renovated. And uh, that guy up there, sitting on the roof, is putting gold leaf on all the exterior. You can see where he's working up the temple. It's all been exquisitely maintained and preserved and renovated down below. You can see all the uh, gold leaf that's been applied and he's now putting the glue on at the top there. I've been watching him putting gold leaf on the uh, on the exterior. So, so there's a little walk around uh, Chiang Mai. Uh, heading back to the hotel now just to have a little bit of relax walking around in this heat. Um, but uh, gives you, hope it gives you a little flavour of Chiang Mai if you've never been here before. Quite a nice city, really. Um, backpacker city, lots of uh, hippies floating around. But uh, other than that, uh, 
there's lots to see here there's lots to do you get outside the city and then you're up in the hills um it's quite nice elephant sanctuaries which are uh, approved sanctuaries they're not you don't ride the elephants um you just go up there and feed them and they're looked after quite nicely up there also there's the waterfalls and big temples up in the mountains so uh, if you're ever this way come to chiang mai and spend a few days here a couple of days have a walk around i'm sure you won't be disappointed even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answer to no man i still go go go